Here with Stefan Wisniewski. Stefan, before we get into this week's game, talk about last week's game. Started at guard, moved to center in the middle of the game. How was that transition, and what are you working on this week? Yeah, it wasn't uh, wasn't too tough a transition for me. You know, I did play center all last year, so it wasn't wasn't too big of a deal. But switched in the middle of the game is kind of not the way you want to do it. You know, I didn't get to practice it too much the past few weeks, but you know, I made it work and uh, had some other guys, you know, back up, step in. You know, Mike Farrell and Urshel and play well, so we're happy with with how the line played. Yeah, talk about those guys stepping in. It seemed like a seamless transition. The offense really had a huge day despite having the the injury and, and you know the adjustments. Yeah, those guys really played well. It, it was kind of their first, you know, first start or first series game action for both of those guys. So it's really impressive uh, the way the O line and you know the offense as a whole with McLaurin and receivers and, and running backs and all playing playing well together. How gratifying is it for you to be heading into Week 12 and the offensive line has clicked and pl started to play pretty well over the past few weeks? Yeah, it feels great, you know, uh, especially because we were we were having some some growing pains there early as we were trying to get some experience for some guys and kind of work together a little bit better. So really, uh, really feels good to kind of have it clicking here at the end of the year. Moving forward to Michigan State, what have you seen from the Spartans on film and what are you expecting from their defense? They're a good defense. You know, they're they're good all the way around. Got some uh, some solid guys up front. They got a heck of a linebacker, Greg Jones. He gets all kind of national attention. Real athletic kid. And uh, so we're, gonna, we're definitely going to have to be at our best. What does the offense need to do this week to, to get a victory? We got to do what we've been doing. We got to be able to run the ball. Offensive line's got to play well. We got to open some holes. We got to protect McGloin. And uh, I think if we do that, McGloin will play like he has been playing, completing balls all over the place. And, uh, you know, we got to put up some points because they got a heck of an offense. What are your thoughts heading into this game? It's a big game for them. <clears throat> They're trying to win the Big Ten title. You guys are trying to solidify New Year's Day Bowl. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, I the way I look at it is, you know, this is my last game ever here at Beaver Stadium, and I don't want to go out with, uh, you know, some other team celebrating a Big Ten title on my field. I, that wouldn't be cool with me. So me and, and everyone else, we're, we're pretty motivated here to, to kind of take away their title and finish our season off on a high note. Have you given much thought to what it might be like running out of that tunnel for the last time on Saturday? thought about it a little bit. I uh, feel like I'm not going to not gonna know what it feels like until I'm finally doing it. And, uh it's going to be weird. I'm really, I'm really going to miss it. It's been a blast. When you look back and reflect on your career, what's the biggest thing that it stands out to you? Um, I don't know, just some big games, you know, uh, some great teammates. And um, winning the Big Ten title was great my sophomore year. But uh, just all the, all the little things, you know, little moments with your teammates, with your friends. And it's, it's been a blast, and uh, I'm definitely going to miss these guys. It's only fitting that we do this interview in a study room. Today you were named a three-time academic <coughs> All-American, first Penn State player ever. Talk about that honor and what it means to you. Yeah, it, it means a lot to me. I mean, you know, Penn State's a, a heck of a place, and anytime you're the first first ever to do something at Penn State, that's that's pretty cool. So, I'm, I mean, I'm tremendously humbled, you know, to be the first, first ever uh, three-time academic All-American in uh, I just want to make sure want to make sure all the glory goes to God because I, I really don't deserve any of it. He's he's the one that gave me these abilities and, and he's the one that's carried me through it. Give me a couple keys to Saturday's game. A couple keys: uh, run the ball offensively. Um, you know, take care of the ball, no turnovers. Um, I think if we protect McGloin, McGloin will have another good game. He's really been playing well, and um, I think it off get off to a good start, but play 60 minutes. You know that's been our trouble. I think in our losses we haven't played 60 minutes, and if we play 60 against these guys, I think we'll be able to take them. 